Okay, on this page, I'm going to show you how double fertilization works. But first, let's review the various parts of the carpel, which is the female part of the flower. So here is one carpel, and as you can see, there are various parts. The top part here is called the stigma, and the stigma has a sticky substance on it that the pollen grain can stick to during pollination. Next we have this neck looking structure here and that's the style of the carpal. And down here within the larger portion of the carpal we have the ovary. And within the ovary we have several ovules. And the ovules are the structures that house the female gamete, the egg. Now once the pollen has landed on the stigma, cells within the stigma will release various compounds and cause the pollen grain to germinate and form a pollen tube. And the pollen grain will then release the two sperm cells that it has within it, and those two sperm cells will travel down the pollen tube to the ovule. So the sperm cells eventually make their way all the way down the pollen tube towards the ovule. And the ovule has the female gametophyte, or the embryo sac, within it. And those two sperm cells, shown in blue in this diagram, make their way into the embryo sac. Once the two sperm cells enter the embryo sac, one of them enters the egg cell, here's that sperm here, and one of them enters this cell called the central cell, and that's this sperm here, okay? Now, this cell is also called the binucleate cell because it has two haploid nuclei, this one and this one. So, once the sperm nucleus of one of the two sperm cells enters the central cell, it fuses, that sperm nucleus fuses with both of the polar nuclei. So what we have here is one, two, three haploid nuclei. And when all three of them fuse, they form a triploid nucleus. And we can even draw that in here if we want to. They fuse to make a triploid, or 3N, nucleus. The nucleus of the sperm cell that made it into the egg cell also fuses with the nucleus of the egg cell that's already there. So that one haploid nucleus of the egg plus the one haploid nucleus of the sperm fuse, and when they do that, they form a diploid nucleus. So now this cell is called the zygote, and this cell is still called the central cell, but it's now a triploid central cell. So to summarize, the pollen grain sticks to the stigma and germinates, and the two sperm cells make their way down to the ovule and enter the embryo sac that's within the ovule, one sperm cell goes into the central cell and fuses with the two nuclei there, forming a triploid central cell, and one sperm cell enters the egg, and the nucleus of that sperm cell fuses with the egg nucleus, forming a diploid nucleus. And that is now a zygote. Now, as this ovule and some of the surrounding tissue develops into a seed, this zygote will undergo lots and lots of mitosis to form an embryo, basically a collection of cells that will eventually become the plant. And the central cell will also divide several times by mitosis, and those cells serve to provide nourishment to the growing embryo.